The ICLU filed a suit against President Donald Trump, his commission, and Vice President Mike Pence. The Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law, a legal and civil rights nonprofit, filed a separate suit against multiple members of the administration and commission. Both groups filed lawsuits against the Trump administration in federal court, alleging that his election commission violated federal law by operating without transparency. Just after becoming president in January, Trump claimed that three to five million people voted illegally and vowed to create a commission on the integrity of the voting system. This was ostensibly to prove his unfounded claims of mass fraud. In May, Trump signed an executive order creating this commission. Vice President Mike Pence is the group's chair and Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach is vice chair. In June, the commission caused outrage when Kobach sent letters to all 50 states requesting extensive personal information from states' voter files. So far, 44 states have refused to comply with the request. Teresa Lee, an attorney with with the ICLU Voting Rights Project, said in a press release, the commission held its first meeting without notice or making it open to the public. This process is cloaked in secrecy, raising serious concerns about its credibility and intent. What are they trying to hide? Both suits complain that the creation of the commission, the secrecy of meetings and procedures, and even commission membership all run counter to the Federal Advisory Committee Act, FACA. Guess what? Trump shut down the commission 